I'm so looking forward to getting this film out to the world. We've been working on it for so long, kind of in, in secret, in private, you know, like I'm so ready for people to see this. As with every project, you take away quite a bit and you, you're not the same filmmaker after finishing it. This film really made me understand this water crisis in a much different way. That's really how we want to change people with this film. Giving them a simple way to understand what this need is and how easy it is to fill. This is not like the AIDS epidemic where, you know, you need millions of dollars of research to figure out how to solve this problem. The water crisis is literally just finding a water source near the people in need and tapping that water source. I love that we don't just put a website at the end of the film after the credits roll and let people find their way to it and try to figure out how to make something happen here. A lot of documentaries I've seen, you know, tell a very passionate story, but then at the end of the day, it's very hard to figure out how to do anything about that. They rile you up, but then they give you no practical outlet to do something about that. Within La Source, this, the whole storyline of these students at, at Princeton you know, just kind of doing whatever it took to raise money for Joe Sweet. And you have like this really cool practical example of how, you know, even kids can pull together and change a village's entire existence. I'm in charge this semester of planning a benefit concert at Cloyster. Um, we did one last semester as well. What I'm going to suggest to our club president is that a portion, if not all of the proceeds, um, go to either Generosity Water or a, you know, a project associated with Relief in Haiti. I hope that this personal story will inspire the viewers of this film to get involved and, uh, you know, make hundreds and thousands of other stories just like this all around the world.